Take me out tonight Where there's music and there's people in the young and the light Driving in your car Good morning, South Plainfield. Today is Friday, June 2nd, 2023. I'm Adina Haji. And I'm Jake Shapiro, and you're watching Tiger TV. Anyone interested in joining the girls' tennis team for the 2023-2024 school year, please join the Google Classroom by June 7th. The classroom code is 7JSBDXH. Important information regarding the interest meeting and paperwork due dates will be, li will be listed here. Just a reminder that senior graduation surveys must be completed by Friday, June 9th. The Tigers Farms Spring Market is open today from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Stop by and grab some plants and flowers for your garden or try some amazing fresh squeezed lemonade and homemade dog treats or pick up, or pick up a limited edition graduation mug today from 10 to 2. Farmers, airport operators, pipeline operators, and others looking to shoo away unwanted avian pests are turning to a suite of new high-tech tools, including drones, including drones designed to look like threatening hawks and lasers meant to humanly disperse crop eating or airplane threatening flocks. Birds are a major economic threat to farmers, some of whom have anti, some of whom use anti-bird netting that can intentionally trap or harm birds. The Drone Birds Company has developed a fleet of partially 3D printed drones that look like birds, that look like birds of prey and are meant to scare away unwanted smaller birds. <laughs> Color Guard is a performance-based sport that combines stance and other interpretive movements with the use of flags, sabers, rifles, and other equipment. In South Plainfield, Guard is only available in high school, but you may also join through universities and other independent groups, some of which are associated with drum corps. SPHS has a Color Guard that performs with the marching band in the fall. We also have a Winter Guard that begins in December and ends at the end of April. This year, South Plainfield Winter Guard ranked 8th place out of 62 guards. This was a great accomplishment for the team, as it was our first ever Winter Guard season. Of course, this was only achievable through months of hard work, dedication, and the help of our super talented coach, Alessandra Greco. We recently asked the Color Guard members about their experience in the sport. Here's what they had to say. Seeing everybody, like, like their growth from the beginning of the season to the end, like, watching, like, the final run through, like, that has to be my favorite thing. Like, watching everybody, like, how much they, they've improved in the final run through, like it gives me chills every single time. The people in Color Guard are very energetic, very fun. It's an amazing environment just to be there with people who you love and who you enjoy being with. What's your favorite Color Guard moment this far? Probably like helping people get ready for competitions and like eating food and <laughs> laughing. Tell us about your experience learning a new sport. I think honestly like it was challenging at first, but like it's like a good challenge, and our coach is really helpful, so it was easy to get the hang of things going. Yeah, I agree. Like our coach definitely was very inspiring. You know, kept us going, and you know, color guard isn't exactly like a fair, like a very easy sport. And there's a lot of you know, danger when you're like throwing, <laughs> uh, when you're throwing rifles and flags. But like, yeah, like it was scary, but like definitely our coach definitely helped us like push through it. All in all, Color Guard is more than just a sport. It's a way to connect with others and create memories that will last a lifetime. Here at SPHS, Color Guard has taught so many things to so many people. It provides a creative and emotional release for those who need it. It's truly an amazing experience overall and everyone should know about it. Lindsay Aller finished two for four with the three RBIs to lead fifth seeded South Plainfield to its first North Jersey Section 2 Group 3 tournament final since 2017, defeating ninth seeded Warren Hills 8-4 in South Plainfield. 
Aaron Townley earned the win by tossing a complete game and striking out nine while allowing seven hits and one walk. This marks the third sectional finals appearance for South Plainfield since 2016. South Plainfield will face second seeded Cranford in the finals on Saturday at 2 p.m. Be there, be square. California passed a first in the nation landmark bill that would ban some ad activities from certain packaged food ingredients, wait, addictives, sorry. The landmark bill that would ban some addictives from certain packaged food ingredients lists. The bill which would go next to the state Senate would be ban five harmful chemicals from candy, cereals, and other processed foods. The bill's proponents have raised concerns over the potential adverse or negative health impacts, both short-term and long-term, of these chemicals. The bill prohibits pro brominated vegetable oil, potassium bromate, wow, profilabarin, pro pro <laughs> Red dye number three, got that one. And titanium dioxide in food products sold throughout the state. Can you please tell me what that big one was? Now I'm gonna read something that doesn't have chemicals in it. The Junior Pool Party is Wednesday, June 21st from 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at the South Plainfield Community Pool. What year? 2023, this year. You can pick up your permission slip from your English teacher in or in room 560. Permission slip and money must be handed in together to Miss Klett or Mr. Spilorek in room 560 by June 6th. The first full-size digital scan of the Titanic, which lies over 12,000 feet down in the Atlantic, has been created using deep sea mapping. It provides a unique 3D view of the entire ship, enabling it to be seen as if the water has been drained away. The hope is that this will shed new light on exactly what happened to the liner, which sank in 1912. They made a whole movie about it, I know exactly what happened. More than 1,500 people died when the ship struck on an iceberg on its maiden voyage from Southampton to New York. The Titanic has been extensively explored since the wreck has been discovered in 1985. But it's so huge that in the gloom of the deep, cameras can only never show us tantalizing snapshots of the decaying ship. Never the whole thing. The new scan captures the wrecks in its entirety, revealing a complete view of the Titanic. I'm sorry for everyone who had to watch this episode, but no senior is gonna be here, so that's your fault. That's it for today's announcements. Have a great day, South Plainfield. How'd you, how'd you like Spider-Verse? Spider-Verse was the greatest movie ever. Did you hear about the drones that I was reading about? The scary drone birds? I blacked out during my read, so I don't know what you said. Scary bird drones? Ah! Go, owls! <laughs>